What is going on, guys? Hello, and welcome back to another exciting episode of MAV, where we do everything outdoors. Today, I'm in my car, and uh, we're driving up north to a place that's very near and dear to my heart, Duluth, Minnesota. Today, we're going to be uh, camping out of the truck, but more importantly, we're going salmon fishing. So I'm crossing my fingers that I'm going to catch some salmon today so I can prepare some for you guys. First things first, I need to get to my destination and uh, get on the water. So without further ado, let's crush this drive. I got about three hours, and... Uh, Go catch some fish. Well, as you may or may not be able to tell, we've finally made it to our destination. I'm gonna put a hat on because my hair is ridiculous right now. All right, that's much better. All right, so yeah, we made it to our destination. We're right outside of Duluth, Minnesota. We're in Superior, Wisconsin. It's a lovely 70 degrees out here right now. Um, very light wind. Might be a little different on the big lake, but we'll see. Uh, today we're gonna be going out on Lake Superior and we're gonna be going after some coho salmon. Now, I'm gonna cook some up today and I'm gonna cook them up out of the back of my truck. Um, I haven't decided whether or not I wanna do it on a campfire or whether or not I wanna do it on the stove. So stick with me. Hopefully some salmon is coming my way and coming your guys' way soon. All right guys, so we made it out here. They've got a plethora of rods going on out here. Um, we've got some various different crankbaits out here. These ones are uh, made by a company called Phantom Lures. We've got some dipsy divers going on over here to get the uh, baits going down deeper and hopefully uh, we can get, get bit on something. All right guys, we got all the rods set up. Um, we're obviously doing some trolling. We've got 13 rods total. We got a dipsy rod, a downrigger rod. So we really only have these downriggers down to about eight feet right now. We're over 80 feet of water, but they're generally used to get the baits down deeper. Um, I don't know. We're excited. We got 13 rods out, like I said, and uh, we're hopeful that we're gonna hook up. What do you think, dude? Do you think we're gonna get one? Oh yeah, we're gonna get two or three. <laughs> How about that, boys? I think it's a laker. Walk back a couple steps. Fish, dude. Thanks, man. <laughs> She'll eat. She'll eat. First one of the day. That's right. Hopefully many more to come. Dipsy. Get her, man. You're up. All right, bud. Where is it? This one? It's a bit dipsy. Oh. I hook set that one because I thought I'd need to pull the dipsy off. There you go. Party on. Zax is bigger. Zax is bigger. She'll eat though. All right, well, Zax is definitely bigger, but that's another lake trout. Little guy, but they all eat the same. Put them in the cooler. This one's big enough to keep, right? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're out here with Optimum Charter Service. Um, they're right out of Duluth, and uh, they're doing a heck of a good job. Right now we haven't caught any salmon, but we're uh, getting some lake trout. Those are gonna taste just as good, I think, but hopefully we get a few coal. We're gonna cross our fingers, and uh, I had a little bit of a brain fart there. I forgot what rod was the dipsy one. Yeah, you did a nice little hook set, too. Yeah, right? I was trying to pull it off the, I, I thought I had to pull it off the clip, and then like right when I was pulling, he's like, yeah, don't set the hook. I was like, oh, dude. So you're not supposed to pop it out of the dipsy? Oh! Yeah, ready again? Jake, Jake! Come on, Jake! <laughs> tighten the drag or leave it? Oh, oh tighten the drag. drag. This is a goddamn bass. Pump the rod, pump it. He's Girl, running hard. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you... 
pretty sure he's uh he's winning on distance right now. 170 feet out he just kicked my ass. No, I brought it up. Okay. You want me to back up when he gets closer? Yep. Just yeah, when he gets closer, back up. Get him in here as easy as we can. Rock tip up. Nice, there you go. Got my first Lake Superior King. I think that might taste a little better than a lake trout. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. I could eat them all myself. You got him? Yeah, we're on. We're wow. On. I'm kind of immobilized with this beer between my legs. I'll get it for you. <laughs> That's not the beer. <laughs> Just toying with us right now. Another fish here. Nice one. Nice. Nice trout. Nice. Real nice. Get <laughs> The second time I thought it was going faster, I went faster, I'm like, oh. Bloody side out. Bloody <laughs> side out, there it is. The fat one, holy cow, he's got some, he's been eating. Well, nice job. Yeah. Brought some food to the table. Indeed. Let's do it again. Yeah, there's a fish on it. Third run. Third run. Oh, yeah, that's you. Press play. Grab it. Snap it. Snap it. Snap it. Snap it. Nice and slow, you're going to go right here. Do what now? He's off. <laughs> You're what now? No, oh, off. it's a pickle. Come on. Is this a sunfish? Oh, add to the species count. It's a straight up cigar. Oh, wow. Let's see it, man. That's what we're about today, boys. We switched it up from going for trout and salmon, and uh, we went after some walleyes. And as you can tell, we're catching some absolute monsters right now. The walleye bite is on fire. I don't think that one's going to go 15, what do you think? <laughs> no. <laughs> he goes home. Well, we've caught a walleye, we've caught a pike, we've caught... Well, we've caught a walleye, we've caught a pike, we've caught a couple lake trout, and we've caught a coho salmon. So maybe uh, Jake would be, maybe Jake would be nice enough to give me a thing of salmon fillets. Maybe. 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 What's yeah. the burden? We'll smoke yeah. it. You make it in your truck. Need some of these? Or you want to give me a list? Of that? Yeah, we got All right, guys, and that's the end to a marvelous fishing day. We ended up putting four different species in the boat, a pike, walleye, a lake trout, and a salmon. So super awesome day on the water. Thanks again to uh, those guys for taking me out. Sun's going down, as you can tell. I've got a fresh salmon filet. It's in my cooler now, and it uh, doesn't get any better than this. So let's get to the camping spot. Let's get the grill going, and let's get the salmon cooking because, man, I am freaking hungry right now. All right guys, we've officially made it to the spot. And as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous here. Um, I'm gonna waste no time, the sun's going down, and uh, it's time to get cooking because I'm freaking hungry. All right, so we're starting off with some olive oil right here. Got some olive oil going. Got our fresh salmon filet here. And we got some lemon pepper and uh, a little bit of thyme in there. And then we got some dang lemons. Oh, shoot. Well, we just lost our time. 
Lost a bunch of time. So I only got lemon pepper. Guess we're just gonna have to make do. All right, so now we got our filet all seasoned. Oh my gosh, it's so windy up here. I have to hold that with my knee. There we go. I think our oil's plenty hot. Yep. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this skin side down first. Oh wow, look at that thing shrink right away. <laughs> that was insane, dude. Salmon is really important to cook at a lower heat um, because there's proteins in it that'll actually release. It looks kind of like a whitey substance on top of the fish. If you have that on top of your salmon, that's how you know you cooked it too long. So you really want to make sure that you cook it at a low heat to begin with. And then uh, you can raise the heat as uh, as you wish, at the, like towards the end. But for right now, I'm going to keep this thing pretty low. Um, and I need to find a pair of tongs. There we go. I think those will work. Bam. But how often do you get a view like this when you're cooking? Like seriously. I'm going to leave it skin side down until I see the... Uh the cookness start to crawl up the side of the salmon and I'm gonna flip it and put it down on the seasoned side and uh, get a little bit of charring going on but I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon right now some some dang old lemons for all you TDB boys and girls so I'm really kind of wishing I had some like sort of vegetable or something to go with this but this is gonna taste so good All right, flipped indeed. I'm gonna take this off. You probably don't need that anymore, do you? All right, there, that's much better, hey? Wait. All right, guys, and I'd say that's probably about done. You can see it's still a little Orangish pink right there. I'm kind of worried about that. This filet is pretty thick. The two C's, but I think it should be okay. Oh no! Well, that's too bad. All right. Well, if I'm being honest. That filet was huge, and when I tried to flip it onto the plate, it kind of just got a little destroyed. So I'm just going to have this little plate to start off with. I will eat all this fish, or I'll find somebody that wants to eat it, or I'll just bring it home. I don't know, but um, I guess let's, let's take this with me. It doesn't really get better than this. I mean, this thing was swimming around no more than four hours ago. Now I gotta deal with this. Alright guys, well that about do it for this episode of Mav. Until next time, my name is Maverick, and you already know the drill, keep on trucking.